Hi guys, welcome to day five of the Master Your Metabolism Challenge. My name's Naomi Judge, I'm a naturopath and clinical nutritionist and for those of you that don't know me, I help women connect the dots between their health, their happiness and their hormones. And At the moment we're doing a 10 day Master Your Metabolism Challenge and this is day five. And the reason we're doing this is because the metabolism is so important. Your metabolism is your engine and without your metabolism working properly, you'll feel tired, you'll feel fatigued, you'll, you won't sleep properly, you might have hair loss, you might have dry flaky skin, you'll definitely get constipation, have stubborn weight gain and just feel depressed and blur. So normally I'm on live, but the internet connection just won't let me go live. And I've been trying and trying and trying and trying um, for the last half an hour. I keep going back to Facebook Live and I just can't get on. So I didn't want to miss today. I didn't want to miss the point I wanted to make today because we are day five. We're halfway through. So I wanted to give you a little bit of inspiration, help with the momentum and just see how you're doing and check in and say hello. So today is day five. And what we're talking about today is foods you can feast on, foods that nourish your metabolism, Foods that regulate your metabolism, foods that get you going and get the va 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 boom going again. And I've listed a few foods in the emails that I've been sending out, the Master Your Metabolism emails. And if you look above or below this video, somewhere in this video, you'll see um, a link and you can sign up for the 10 day challenge if you want. So you'll get daily emails. And then at the end, I'm gonna package all these email, these videos together and send them out. Including in those emails are recipes. Today, there was a beautiful mushroom soup with some coconut oil, some parsley to really help upregulate your metabolism. You know, the mushrooms are full of selenium, which is fabulous for your metabolism, fabulous for your thyroid, fabulous for weight loss weight loss and selenium is such a master detoxifier so it really helps to cleanse so having foods which are high in selenium like white button mushrooms or brazil nuts really is good for your metabolism so today i sent you a mushroom soup recipe with mushrooms with coconut oil with some salt and pepper make it with bone broth or vegetable broth for your protein and then i asked you to sprinkle dulcy flakes on top of the mushroom soup because dulcy flakes are full of iodine. And again, iodine is wonderful detoxifier and it's wonderful at helping your metabolism to regulate. So I just go through some of the foods that I sent you through today in the email for day five of the 10 day Master Your Metabolism Challenge. The first food was Brazil nuts. Two to three Brazil nuts a day is wonderful for your metabolism. It's high in selenium. That gives you your really good daily dose of selenium. That's great for weight loss. It's great for your metabolism. It's great for your thyroid hormones. And it's also great for cleansing. So selenium is a nutrient that's needed for cleansing, but also for your immune system. Another thing that selenium is good for, so you might want to recommend this to your husbands, especially if you're trying to get pregnant, selenium is wonderful for sperm strength. So men that have a couple of Brazil nuts a day, it's a wonderful food to help with um, the strength and motility of their sperm. The next is pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are high in zinc like oysters. So I do recommend you have about a quarter of a cup of pumpkin seeds a day and then oysters when you can. Once a week have some oysters. But the pumpkin seeds can be put in your smoothies. I just add pumpkin seeds to all my salads. So whenever I'm making a salad, I bulk up that salad and add the pumpkin seeds there. And then you're getting a really good dose of zinc. You can also add pumpkin seeds to your rice dishes, cauliflower rice dishes to your soups, you can sprinkle them on top. You can even blend them through a little bit. That's a great way to do it. And I add them to dips as well. If I'm making a really nice cleansing dip with maybe some kale, maybe some parsley, lemon and some tahini, I'll add the pumpkin seeds in and that gives it a little bit of a lift, gives it a nice flavor. And then you've got the zinc there as well. So zinc is a mineral that's vital to help your metabolism, vital for detoxifying, and it's vital for all other things. We need zinc for our hair, our skin, our nails, our moods, you know, children that are fussy eaters are normally low in zinc. So getting this into their diet and your diet is really, really important. I mentioned oysters, so whenever you can, take, eat some oysters, you know, a couple of times a week or on special occasion, get those oysters down you, because again, they're really super 
high in zinc. And I do know some vegans actually that are 100% vegan and they've been 100% vegan for years and years and years, but have been advised by their health practitioner that maybe they need to have a little bit of something in just to help them because they're very low and they're healthy vegans. And I do know that um, a couple of healthy vegans do have a couple of oysters now and again. Now that doesn't make them 100% vegan, but they found that they need that. They've listened to their bodies and they found that that's what they need to be at their optimal health. Um, next is seaweed, so dulcy flakes, nori sheets. Seaweed is high in iodine. Iodine is vital for your metabolism. It's vital for a fast metabolism, a metabolism that works for you to help you to lose weight, to help you feel good, to help your skin. And also iodine is really important for your immune system and thyroid. Three big symptoms, your iodine is low, thyroid nodules, breast lumps and a poor immune system. Some people also get lots of skin issues like eczema and dermatitis. You know, skin issues can also indicate low iodine. So it's important that you get some iodine naturally into your diet through seaweed, dulcy flakes. I sprinkle dulcy flakes on my salad. I sprinkle dulcy flakes on everything because it's so highly nutritious and it gives everything a beautiful flavor. If you're not used to it, you can just add it slowly and do it that way. So that's iodine. So iodine is very important. Another thing you can do, this is a sneaky thing, if you grow your own fruit and vegetables, you can get a really nice iodized kind of mulch, but I have seen some people using a little bit of natural seaweed they've taken off the beach. I don't know how, if that's allowed, but just a little bit. You can also make a nice, uh, you can make a nice water, you, you know, you can actually make up a kind of a food and pop some iodine drops in and water your plants with that. And then that means your herbs and your spices and your fruit and your vegetables are gonna be high in iodine. And you can do the same with selenium and things like that. You can make it up, you can plant whatever goes into your, into your fruit and veg goes into you when you eat it. So it's a really good idea to do that. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are super high in selenium and that's why I always recommend them. Really great quality minerals in mushrooms, but particularly mushrooms that have been grown in sun or UV, UV light are high in vitamin D. So it's a really great natural way to get your D in. You can do sort of cod liver oil or you can take D drops, but if you want to do it naturally, have those mushrooms. And if you're not sure if they've been grown in UV light, a lot of them aren't, a lot of them are grown in the dark, what you can do once you get your mushrooms is you can put them on your windowsill and that will allow the UV to actually penetrate the mushrooms and they create the vitamin D. Really cool, really cool process, really good to know. That's why I recommend getting your mushrooms in. They're high in selenium and then they've also got the vitamin D in. And if they're not grown in UV light, you can actually hack that yourself and get some light on them in the sunshine. Coconut oil is my favorite thing to master your metabolism. Coconut oil is wonderful. Not only does it get you thermogenic, which we're gonna be talking about um, in the next couple of days, we're gonna be going through all the thermogenic foods you can add in, but coconut oil keeps you satiated, it stops you craving sugar, it helps with your metabolism, it helps with your brain health, your focus, any brain fog. So I really encourage you to ditch all those hydrogenated oils, ditch all those highly processed vegetables and start cooking with coconut oil. Now, if you don't like the flavor of the coconut oil, all you need to do is get a flavorless one and use that for cooking and get a really good quality one that you put in your desserts or you have a teaspoon in your cup of tea a day. So there are ways around that, but coconut oil is a must, must, must. Grass-fed protein, so grass-fed protein helps with fat loss. So it speeds up your metabolism to burn the fat and build muscle. So we're looking at really good quality chicken, beef, pork and lamb here. Really good quality, three times a week to help with muscle growth and fat loss. Protein is wonderful. Whey is also good as well. So make sure you get yourself really good quality whey. If you know you're sensitive to whey or dairy, then just go for a rice or go for a collagen protein. But whey has also been shown to help upregulate your metabolism, your metabolic rate, so that you can burn fat to gain your muscle. 
So I hope that was helpful today. I've kept it short and sweet because I'm not on live today to answer questions. Really sorry I couldn't join you all today, but I hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. Please post your questions below if you've got any for me. And if you've got any questions on foods to feast on or you've got any questions on my recipes, email me or post below. So have a great day, guys, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for day six of the MYM challenge. See you then. Bye.